testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the second show today. This so earlier today on MCR Radio with my co-host uh, Matt the Hipster Hunter. Uh, check that out at MCR uh, MCR Radio on YouTube. Uh, but let's get into the second show today. We're going to spend it on Tyson Fury. Yesterday, I went after uh, Ron Garcia and saying that he should have to be um, reinstated. Um, have to go through the procedures again if he wants to fight again. Uh, after he put himself out, now we're gonna talk about Tyson Fury and how he should be stripped because he doesn't fight either. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, uh, share on all forms of social media. Um, quick hits remember, come twice a day, every day, eight times a day. You'll be up to uh, up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, our second channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, it's completely get dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, it's near and dear to our heart. Help us get that montage. Help us get that up and running as quickly as possible. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Tyson Fury, as apparently, allegedly, he denies it. Everyone else reports that he's tested positive for COVID. The judge money what fight is off allegedly. I don't know. That's what they're saying. Tyson Fury says it's not true. From what I'm understanding, and, and this fight is, is off until September or October, and it could potentially be up after that because of the legal agreement um, to make this fight happen in the first place. None of this is making much sense to me. If you got COVID and he's sick, you can't fight for now. It's been a year and a half since he won the title from Deontay Wilder. But he's a two-time world champion. And he, had, you know, he won a title from Klitschko in 2015. That he never defended for a year and a half. And then was stripped of it. So, I mean, honestly, he's been a world champion for about three years and has made no title defenses. Three years and no title defenses. I'm just stripping of his belt. And this is ridiculous. Like if you want to be a champion, you have to go fight for it because we're taking your belt. You'll still be the lineal champion, I, I guess, I suppose, allegedly. But you don't fight anybody. And I know Jack Dempsey did this 100 years ago. Okay, I don't give Jack Dempsey did this 100 years ago. If you want to be a champion, you have to defend your belt. Are you going to be a champion in Meredith forever? And just never fight anyone ever? He's held those for three years. He's never defended it, not one single time. You guys don't see a problem with that? But I think Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world. I think he's a special talent. I think that he would I beat him, I pick him to beat Wilder both times. I think he's special. But you and I would pick him to beat Wilder again. But um and this has just gotten insane now. What, is he going to win a belt and never, ever defend it? When he doesn't have a world title, he fights all the time. You know, in the in, in the year, in the 14 months between the two Wilder fights, he fought twice. In the, in the year before the Wilder, the first Wilder fight, he fought like three times in a year, four times in a year, something like that. But now he can't, now but when he wins a world title, then he can't fight for a year and a half. It's time to strip him of his belt. Strip him of his belt, put him back down number 15 in the WBC rankings. You want to you, 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 you want to be a champion, you're going to have to fight your way back up. And you're going to have to stay busy and active, and you're going to have to beat people. And then, once you win, now we're going to put you on a plane. You have to defend that title in six months, nine months. A year and a half where you don't fight, and then you lose your belt. You lose your belt now. How, this guy, how, what, this is insane. Yeah, he's held the belt. He's had two reigns. A year and a half, a year and a half. And he's never defended his title. How's that possible? It's enough. Uh, guys, I'm going to be consistent on this, right? If I'm going to badmouth Ron Garcia, I'm going to badmouth 
And it's not even bad now, Leo. I, I, I think Ryan Garcia is an exceptional fighter. I think he's a gifted fighter. I think Tyson Fury is a gifted fighter. I think he's an exceptional fighter. But you got to be a fighting champion. You got to at least fight the man. You got to fight somebody. Yeah, he didn't fight Wilder. He wants to fight Joshua. It didn't happen. And then when he beat the first time, he beat Klitschko, he just didn't fight anyone. He did cocaine instead. I mean, he didn't laugh, he'd cry, right? I mean, is he really never going to defend his titles? This is it? He just goes MIA, he wins them, and then goes MIA? Then retire, then. Then retire from the sport. If, if you're done, then you're done. But to do this ridiculous thing, when you're a champion, you don't schedule fights, you don't defend your title, and you just claim to be, which you are. He won the belt fair and square. It's his belt. He looks sensational in that performance. But you don't defend it. You're not a champion. So, but you got to defend your title. It's getting insane now. I don't, he says he didn't test positive. The fight's not off. Everyone else does the fight. So I don't know what's going on in Fury's camp. I never know what's going on in Fury's camp. You know, trying to figure out someone's mindset. Of a deeply mentally unstable person like Tyson Fury is a losing battle. By trying to get rationality out of an irrational person like Tyson Fury, it's just insane. Look, I don't wish Tyson Fury the best. I wish Ryan Garcia the best. But you got to fight. You got to defend your title. I mean, what good? Again, we're either retired champion, John Elway style. Or fight somebody. But to this thing where you don't retire and don't fight, what is this? What is he on a strike? He's on a, he, 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 he's on a, a hunger strike? Like, uh, what is going on with this guy? Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think he should fight? If he doesn't fight, do you think he should be stripped? I think he should be stripped. You've had every opportunity to fight. You fought nobody. The second time you've done this. Um... What do you guys think should be done? Do you agree with me? It should be stripped. You should be given an opportunity to fight. You should be able to fight whoever you want. You should be able to be a champion forever and never fight. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe uh, to 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Black. Share on all forms of social media. The other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Um, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. So please uh, subscribe to that channel. Share. Uh, help us get that monetized. Um... From Texas, oh, it, it is July 13th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.